Hey. Hey everybody, what's up? It's Father Jerry. Uh, did you miss me last week? I did. Probably not, but you know, sorry about that. I had every intention of doing the video, um, but as many of you know, I was uh, summoned to court. I had jury duty and I actually was called in last Wednesday in the morning for jury selection. And I wore my collar just like this, thinking never would they choose a priest, of course. Went through that process, which was three hours jury selection. And then I was selected to be on a criminal uh, trial. So I spent all day Wednesday there, and then all day Thursday there, and um, quite, an, quite a, a learning process. Chrissy, you've never been on a jury, have no, you? No, I never got selected. I mean, it never, you know, there we weren't ever, mm -mm, there weren't trials. So it was kind of funny. When you walk in the courtroom in there, there's 60 people there in the jury selection thing, and everybody's quiet. Nobody wants to talk. And like I was, I was talking to one lady next to me who I knew really well, and uh, we ended up being both on the journey, jury, and we were like whispering the whole time. And it's like, this is kind of weird. And she goes, yeah, it's like we, nobody knows what to do. But part of it was you feel kind of intimidated too. You're in court. And then they come in and they say, you can't do this and you can't do that. And you can't do this. And you can only talk to these people and you know, answer questions and all that. And then, then when you get on the trial, it's even worse. I mean, yeah. it's kind of like, because they threw out the whole term, if you don't do this, you could be in contempt of court. Right. You're like, You're like that's jail. Okay. Don't want to do that. So um, anyway, it was interesting. Unfortunately, after all of that uh, and our jury deliberations, we came up with a verdict. And then at the end, when we went to the back into the courtroom, the judge called a mistrial because one of our jurors broke one of the rules. So anyway, quite an, quite an interesting education. So, uh, but I was there all day Wednesday and all day Thursday. Uh, so I just never had a time to do a video last week. Uh, and I really wanted to do a video because the weekend before that, was our big parish celebration. And that was a great weekend uh, with our great parish picnic and all the good food. We had a lot of great uh, organizations that, and people who helped contribute to do everything, serving and cooking and f the food and the fun and the band and it was all kinds of great stuff. So That's thanks awesome. everybody who helped with our parish celebration. And in my opinion, one of the highlights was on Sunday when we had the Eucharistic procession. Uh, so. You know, we took the Blessed Sacrament out and the canopy and the servers and the Knights of Columbus and had a big procession around. Um, it's one thing I, I never, we never really figured out how many people were in that. Do you? Did you it had it? to be like 150 to 200. Yeah, yeah was, it was a lot. It was huge. Which, and it was hot. It was hot. We actually cut the, uh, the, the route down. We were going to go around the whole campus out along the streets and everything. And we, even when we practiced it, it took us like 15 minutes oh, just uh -huh. to go to the first thing. It's uh -huh. like, oh no, yeah, it's too hot. So we did shorten the route. But, and we had a lot of people who stayed. Some yeah. older people who couldn't go out in the heat, but they stayed and waited for everybody to come back. And then we had all the sweet goods. Yeah. And it was just a nice morning. It was. It was great. So was good. Um, thanks again, everybody, for that. Um, so that was a good time. Um, so yeah, and the, then this uh, past weekend, uh, it was just another weekend. We had a wedding and other things going on. Um, we did have a speaker, um, Deb Neeson, who's the lead consultant for pro-life for the Archdiocese came and uh, talked about pro-life issues, specifically the value of the Moth Amendment. And then of course, uh, a week ago, Friday is when the Supreme Court, um, you know, changed the Roe versus Wade decision. Um, one of the things I found out since then, <laughs> a lot of opinions, of course, but uh, a lot of people just don't really understand what these things mean. I mean, just basic things that, you know, the Supreme Court did not outlaw abortions, it outlawed the federal understanding of that. But what it says is things that are going on in the states, the states have to make those decisions. But even a basic thing like that, a lot of people are confused about. Um, and there's a lot of confusion about the value of the both Amendment too. So Deb kind of explained that. Um, but that's one of the things too, as I said last Sunday, if you weren't here, but uh, just educate yourself. Your knowledge is so important. Um, rather than just read a sign or follow a headline or a tweet, um, that doesn't give you the whole information. So educate yourself, find out more information. Uh, it's just so important, especially in regards to these really important issues. And uh, the abortion issue is just one of many great concerns that we have as church. You know, the immigration issue, you know, just the other day, there was that terrible tragedy in Texas where 40 people were found dead in a pickup truck, you know. More or, people um, today, you know, there's more. There's more. Uh, you know, there, there's so many Children. concerns that we should have as, as Catholics, as Christians around the world and um, moral issues, but other things too. Um, an interesting thing, I just met with a couple from Uganda 
and they were telling me about their traditions in Uganda in regards to marriage and different things. So, so very different. Um, this is something, Christy, they said, because uh, they heard one of my homilies talking about uh, previous relationships with families I've had in Olathe from different African countries. And um, they were saying, because they both are new to the United States, and like he said, um, you go to McDonald's here and buy a hamburger, that would pay for an average family's meal for a full day in Uganda. And uh, just talking about the, what did he say? If you buy a, a something like a full, like a Happy Meal or something here, which would be eight or nine dollars, uh, he said that will pay for several several days food there for most people in Uganda. Just so you know, just the differences in our world. Uh, and like I, when they were telling me this, I was thinking, uh, and I said to him, I said, yeah, we Americans are spoiled because we really are. <laughs> we have, we have so much, and we feel like we deserve so much, and we need so much, and we don't. So it's always good to broaden our horizons, to educate yourself about the issues all around the world. You know, we're still thinking about Ukraine, hopefully, and when we see the atrocities there and different places. So um, it's just that time of year, you know, is um, I'll be leaving for some vacation time for the next couple of weeks. Uh, and so uh, be thankful for what we have. We celebrate uh, 4th of July next week as a country. <laughs> I know. It's new. <laughs> it's, it's new. That's why we don't do this at noon. Uh, so, uh, but, you know, be thankful for what we have as a country. We are Oftentimes we feel entitled, um, and uh, we should never do that. We should just be thankful for what we have. And um, if we think of 9-11 back in many years ago, um, things can easily be taken away. Um, and so let's just be thankful to God and help each other grow in knowledge and love and understanding. So anyway, I think that's it, everybody, this week. I just want to say hello again. You probably won't hear from me for a couple more weeks, but you never know. Christy and the staff might do something. <laughs> I might just do a little video from the mountains or wherever I find myself. You never know. But uh, wherever you are, whatever you do, uh, thank God for your life. Uh, uh, help other people out. Grow in knowledge and understanding. And as always, if there's anything you need from Corpus Christi, uh, please give us a call. Look on our website. Uh, we're here to help. So uh, God bless you all. Have a good rest of the week.